The famed filmmaker Ken Burns, whose projects air on PBS, is in Louisville tonight for his next major film, Muhammad Ali. WHAS-TV is proud to be an exclusive partner with Burns as his team has been going through our film archives for the project. One other thing, they're also going to be using home movies just like this one from Louisville cardiologist Henry Sadler. Just back from a fight at the, air, at the airport here, watches his mother at least three different times there, tries to put that crown on the champ's head. He's not going for it. I interviewed Ken Burns today in our archives. It's so great. Look at this. Everybody giving him a big hug. Filmmaker Ken Burns in the archives of WHAS 11, at home with old film reels around him, watching some of our WHAS news film of Muhammad Ali in Louisville that his researcher, Stephanie Jenkins, has flagged. Louisville is the place that he's born and the place that he's buried. Louisville is where, is, is how we are defined by him. You can't take Louisville out of this equation. He's America's most science famous science movie science maker science historian science from the Civil War to the recent hit Country Music. Country Music is about human emotions. To now. In the fall of 2021, Burns will roll out his new film simply called Muhammad Ali. Most important, we have him because he is the Louisville lip. He is talking all the time. And don't nobody talk back to me like that. WHAS-TV's legendary sports director, Kay Wood Ledford, started covering the young Cassius Clay in high school boxing. Everybody thinks they know him. You love him or you hate him or you've been through both of those things. And many Americans started off hating him. You know, ca gaseous, Cassius. We showed Burns this very rare WHAS clip of Clay as a 15-year-old weighing in for a youth Golden Gloves boxing match. Here it is from January 1957. What do you think? Unbelievable. There he is. <laughs> Confident. WHAS covered his every move. I'm sure that'll land in the... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Burns has been making films for 43 years. He told me he wakes up every morning thinking of the Ali Project. This complicated relationship with Louisville and that even in his hometown, he's not embraced by everyone. No, though, I, I think it's really important to understand him in all his complexity. We do a disservice when we whitewash a thing and make it sanitized, a kind of Madison Avenue version of American history. He's coming back from Manila. Editing for the film is already underway. Burns told me since Ali lived his life on the record, the four-part film will leave you with this. For those people who feel like they know him already, I think they will go. I had no idea. You tell it to your camera, your TV man. Four years after his death, clearly Ali's legacy is still being written. Going to be fun to watch when it comes out. Burns right now is speaking at a private fundraiser for the Ali film, raising money in Louisville at the Speed Art Museum tonight. He told us they would love to hear from you, by the way, if you have any more home movies like Henry Sadlow has that his dad recorded of a young Cassius Clay or Muhammad Ali as he moved around town. Just contact me here at WHAS 11 and I'll pass it on to Ken Burns for you.